great to see you this morning. Thank this you. is a very uh, relevant announcement it regarding indeed, the SEGA Grid indeed, Awards. And for this reason, we are not alone. I would like to ask my colleagues and friends to join us because we are a team. And as in sport, it's the team that makes the difference. Triumph, achieving results, achieving objectives require much more than just goodwill. It requires action. It requires alignment. It requires convergence. So I would like to ask you at the outset to please bear in mind these four simple letters. G R I B. G R I B. In isolation they mean nothing perhaps but together they are grid. And grid stands for an urgent, indispensable reform, a cultural change that cannot be adjourned anymore. This is what led Sega to set up a standing committee. At the peak of the pandemic, we took the initiative to mobilize our resolve, our strength, our common commitment in order not only to put the, the problem at the table, but to work to find solutions. And this is what the GRID Committee has been doing. An outstanding group of men and women dedicated to serve this fundamental cause. The GRID Committee has been responsible for many, many advancements within SIGA and beyond. And uh, the people that are here with me, they have been pivotal on all these steps forward. So this is also an expression of appreciation and recognition for the hard work, the commitment, the passion, the generosity of each one of them. Those who are here and those who follow us in different countries, in different time zones, united by this common cause, this common belief. Those who know SIGA know that we are an organization that is peculiar. We don't finger point. We don't accuse. We don't name and shame. We don't criticize. We just don't talk about the problems. We prefer to focus on the solution. We prefer to encourage, to motivate, to instigate in a positive way, giving the example where possible. Rather than naming and shaming, we prefer to name and fame. And ladies and gentlemen, that is so much great work being done. So much shining examples of leadership, of commitment to advance causes that are our own, that concerns each one of us, regardless of our gender, regardless of our social background, our place of birth, regardless of our political or religious beliefs. And if there is a moment where it is fundamental to call for action, this is one. Because we will not be neutral in this case. We will not hide where we stand. We will not dig trenches to hide our beliefs and what we are prepared to do. So ladies and gentlemen, after long and hard work within the great committee, we have decided to announce the SIGA Grid Awards. They are a symbolic but heartfelt way of rendering recognition to those organizations, those individuals, those champions that have excelled, that have marked the difference, that have indeed in their organizations, in their own business sectors, advanced the cause. And by doing that, they have inspired, we hope they have inspired many to do the same and follow their footsteps. So if you allow me briefly, uh, we have here a short presentation on what consists the SIGA GRID Awards. And as you can see, we have here a shining example. Shining example because we need to shine a light on the good work that is being done the good examples, the good policies, and those who are making the wheel spin. 
in the right way. So this is why we are doing this. The SIG Agreed Awards, dedicated to showcasing and celebrating organizations and individuals in the global sports industry that have made the difference, that are making the difference. Stimulating other good actions, other good examples. The categories are those that are defined here. But presiding them, it's this notion of inclusion. Inclusion on race, inclusion on diversity, inclusion on gender. Inclusion here is the key, the key word. And I dare to say, as we have expressed in the previous days, this is also part of a great alignment that we are developing with the United Nations. Because nothing here happens by accident or randomly. There is a purpose, there is a strategy, there is a framework of cooperation, of which you are also part. So we will have these categories, Sports Organization of the Year, Sports Business of the Year, Broadcaster of the Year, Social Media of the Year, Executive, Inclusive Sports Event of the Year, Great Champion of the Year, and the Lifetime Achievement Awards. Because, ladies and gentlemen, what defines us also is that we are an organization with values. Value of recognition, value of appreciation, value of recognition. All this powered by a number of like-minded organizations. So, announcing this today, we will prepare the next stage, which is exactly the appointment of an independent jury. So that there is impartiality, independence, absolute neutrality, so that these awards are not just a, a marketing uh, initiative because they are not meant to be and they will certainly not be one. We want indeed to reward those who have hit the highest notes and therefore can inspire others. Everyone can apply as you can see and next year we will have this event within spring uh, so that we can all celebrate uh, the achievement of this objective. And like I said, all these powered by powerful organizations. Organizations that have dedicated time, energy, resources, expectations, belief, and trust in making this possible. Organizations that are here with us and that have been also the backbone of SIGA. And I would like to thank Aaron Denzai, with whom I discussed this idea a few years ago, pre-pandemic, we were aligned with joint forces, and now, together with other members of the, the GRID committee, with the youth by our side, with female leadership by our side, we will make this happen. These, ladies and gentlemen, are some of the members of the, the GRID standing committee. We owe them a great lot, and I expect to have even more to appreciate once we have launched the City GRID Awards. These GRID Awards are for you. Own them. Promote them. Pass the word, bring others, so that we can score at the end. Aaron, a few words please, and then I would like also to open the floor for a brief statement from all, our, all my friends and colleagues. Thank you, Matt. Hello? Yeah. Thank you, Emmanuel. Um, but these awards aren't just about celebration, and it'll be a great event. Uh, it's about education as well. It's about educating other organizations who want to be at the pinnacle around diversity, equity, and inclusion. We, look, education is really important. We're going to get many role models, many allies showcased, as well as sports organizations who are doing really well. It's not just about gender or race, it's about intersectionality. It's about disability. Um, it's about mental health. What are organizations doing internally and externally? Who are the allies out there who are uh, supporting and promoting? Who are those dedicated volunteers up and down the um, uh, globally who are working really hard on the, in these difficult situations? So it's, it's going to be really important to showcase that. We need people like yourselves to at least um, uh, bring people forward, nominate them, and then we can then have a proper look at this. Um, Emmanuel's already said it's going to be an independent uh, judging panel. That's going to be really important. We want to make sure that we're getting the right people 
uh, that are uh, celebrating but also being awarded something here as well. So it's not just about egos, it's not about um, just doing an event for event's sake. This is a, a much bigger thing. It is about changing the environment, getting people closer to DEI. And in the last panel, we talked about solutions. Sometimes people need a bit more understanding of the ideas on how you can make change, and that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to showcase real uh, achievements by organizations globally. Go ahead. Short and sweet. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, just to say that, as Aaron picked up on, this is not just an event. It's part of a wider social media campaign throughout the year to get more inclusion in sport. It's as simple as that, and to celebrate best, best practice. And um, I don't know about you, but I've had a couple of ball dresses um, in my cupboard getting dusty over COVID. So I'm going to get them down. I can't wait to choose which one I'm going to wear. And get your black tie ready. And uh, it's going to be fantastic. I think for me, hello, hello, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think for me, Alan really hit the nail on the head there. Uh, awards shouldn't just be about recognising people; it should be getting people to think about the subjects in hand. Um, and through the nomination process in itself, it, it gets people thinking about who's doing what, who's not doing what, um, and, and that's really important for me. So I'm, I'm really glad to see that it's um, it's a, it's a widespread. Um, campaign. It's not just a, a, a one-night kind of uh, award ceremony. It's it's a uh, it's a whole it's a whole um, I, I say strategy really to get people thinking about gender, race, uh, inclusion, and diversity. So, well done. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm really pleased to see that, that this uh, project has come to fruition. We've been talking about it, Emmanuel and I, for a long time. And uh, Emmanuel and Katie have visited our Sporting Equals uh, um, British Ethnic Diversity Sport Awards in, in London. And uh, we hope that we can do something uh, with this uh, award uh, on, on, a, on a similar scale, if not even bigger. Uh, I, I think it's quite unique. I don't think any other organization uh, in the world is doing anything like this. So I, I think it's going to be a first. And uh, uh, I think it's, uh, it's great that we can recognize, celebrate the people that have done sterling work in the space of diversity inclusion. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to it. I will get a tuxedo out, uh, dust it off. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a, a great opportunity for SEGA to really showcase and promote the, the, the good work that, we, that we're doing. So congratulations. Um, uh, Emmanuel Katie for uh, believing in the project and pushing it forward. So again, we've demonstrated that we're not talking, we're actually walking as well. Um, and uh, uh, I think it's going to be a, a wonderful opportunity for the organization. I'd just like to, finally to thank uh, my fellow GRID members. I don't know if Brian is still listening, but our chair, but uh, They've all supported the, the initiative, and uh, it's, it's fantastic that everybody's behind it. Thank you. I'll be short and sweet as well from a youth council perspective. I just want more people on this stage, so I hope this awards can inspire new game changers with regards to the ecosystem of implementing integrity. So getting our young voices is key, and can't wait to be in that bow tie too. Brilliant. Thank you, everyone. A big round of applause for the introduction of the SEGA GRID Awards. And uh, from my side, I just wanted to commend the organization because we all know that we need to be inspired to follow examples. And these examples are led by people, and these people need to be celebrated. So I think that is what's so relevant, and speaking from a journalistic point of view as well, we need to be aware of the people who are making a change so they can have a bigger impact and their messages can be spread around the world in a more effective fashion. So thank you very much.